So this is Smart Box, and this is the Grid Pad 12, and it also comes in a 15 inch, and there's a, a lot of different language systems to look at. I'm gonna open Word Power 25 and show you that it looks a little bit like Touch Chat and other Word Power programs. So if we go into the settings, you can go into the settings and go into eye gaze and you are going to tell it the activation. So if you want it the dwell time and the color of that dwell time, and if you want it to highlight cells or not, then under calibration, you're gonna have to go into, you get your eyes where you have, you're in the center of the screen and you have a smiley face. So if I'm too far away, that's harder. And if I get too close, that face gets unhappy with you. So that's kind of how it shows you where that you're the right distance away. When you go into the settings for calibration, you can tell it how many targets and what the target stimuli will be. So we'll do a five point calibration. And if I hit calibrate, then I'm just gonna watch the dot go. Many people ask, is it, um, does it move on even if it doesn't capture? And typically it doesn't. Typically it's only moving on because it's found my eyes. So if it's staying stagnant in one area, it's because you, they have, it hasn't found the eyes. I can improve the calibration and it's going to go ahead and find the one that it didn't get well. And then I'm going to say, also under activation is where you can set the dwell time. Right now it's set for one second. And so now when I look, uh, like drinking milkshake, I like drinking milkshake. So that's how you set up the basic eye gaze in grid. I path. like drinking milkshake. 